Sharon White Fawn here with a daily inspiration tip for you. Many years ago, I read this book. It was called The Hidden Messages in Water. It was written by a Dr. Emoto, a Japanese professor who did this experiment with water. Maybe you read it, maybe you didn't, but it led me to a practice that I want to share with you today. In his book, he photographed molecules of water and um, he would have his students do certain thoughts over it, like pray angels or pray love or pray negative things, right? And then he, he photographed the molecules again and you can see these images in the book and I'm going to share them here. Can you see them? Take a look at those images. Before and after being preyed upon. Right? So after reading that book, it led me to a practice that I still do today, every day, every time I drink water, as a matter of fact. So I have this water bottle. If you know me, you know that I almost always have a water bottle with me. And so I move it around like this. I sort of stir it up. But while I'm doing this, and even as I'm talking to you, you have no idea that I'm saying silently inside my head, additionally, because I'm a multitasker and I can do this, I can say, I am a spiritual being, or I can think those thoughts. I am a spiritual being on a soulful journey. And sometimes I say I'm a soulful being on a spiritual journey. But either way, I'm charging up that water, these molecules, with soulfulness and with the energy of spirituality. And then when I drink that water, I'm taking that energy into myself. I remind myself constantly. A little sip of water. I was thirsty too. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, a little sip of water while drinking water is important for everything in our whole bodies physically. When we charge it up with something spiritual or something, a positive mental thought, we're actually changing the molecules in this water. And then when we take it in, those molecules get absorbed. That energy gets absorbed into the body, up to the brain, and it affects us. It affects our health in a positive way. It's really, really powerful stuff to know. I would uh, love for you to get the book and read the book. It's a great book. The illustrations are fabulous. Just look at the pictures. You can probably look them up online. Dr. Emoto, The Hidden Messages in Water. Amazing, amazing research that he did. Um, not too long ago, my husband and I did this thing with rice. We took two mason jars, exactly the same size. We took the same amount of rice, the exact same amount, put the exact same water in it, put the lids on it, and then with a post-it note, I love my post-it notes, I put, I love you, and on the other one, we put, I hate you, right? And then we kept them in the same exact place, right by the sink. And then every morning we were going to do this. I love you to this one. And I hate you to this one, right? I hate you. What we learned first, right away, immediately, we learned that neither of us could say, I hate you. That was like really hard. So then we decided we were just going to ignore it. <laughs> so we we're like, I, could, I couldn't do it. I just didn't want to have that energy in me to be saying, I hate you. I just couldn't do it. So anyways, I neither could he. It was really a very interesting uh, outcome of the experiment that we didn't intend so it was a good thing to learn. Anyways, so this one we ignored, and this one we said, I love you, too. We pick it up, we said, I love you, you're so pretty. Like, we were like, all oh, boast on this little thing. So um, we did this, right? And I highly recommend doing this. I say I highly recommend a lot. I'm sorry, but I do highly recommend that you do this. And watch what happens. It's a great experiment to do with kids. It's a great experiment to do, period. And um, so what we discovered was the rice that we were loving on and sending it all that positive energy, it was alive. You could see little bubbles of air and, you know, it was just really, and the other one got stagnant. It just got stagnant. They were in the exact same place. Everything about these two things was exactly the same, except the energy that we gave it. So give that experiment a try if you want to. You don't have to. But do know that your thoughts will affect your reality. So many thoughts we have that are just negative, and we don't even know we're having a negative thought. Bring your awareness to what it is that you're thinking. Choose to make very specific conscious thoughts that are positive, that are healing, that are loving. And you'll cultivate that in your body. You'll cultivate that in your world. It can't not happen. It's a natural law. So anyway, I just wanted to share that little tip with you. And hopefully you will enjoy it as much as I do. I enjoy drinking water anyway. But I love knowing that I layered it. I layered it with something. I'm doing something physical for my physical health, drinking water, but I'm charging the water with something positive, mental, emotionally, and spiritually positive. And this is just another way that you can have everything in one moment, taking care of your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual needs 
all at one time. Isn't that fabulous? So thanks for joining and we'll see you again. Hey, thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you want more like it, subscribe. Thanks. Have a great day.